There is a statement in the Bible that should be of great concern for the people who reject Jesus Christ. The statement is, He who walks in uprighteousness fears the Lord, but he who is perverse in his own ways despises the living God. So he who is righteous fears the Lord, but he who has perversion in him despises the, uh, despises the living God. So one of the reasons that a lot of people reject Jesus Christ is because there is sin and there is perversion in them, in their thinking, their deception, in their, in their soul, there is wickedness. So it is not a question of whether God is real or not. It is a question of what is truly in the heart of man. What is truly in your heart? And this is a this is a hard uh, it, it is a hard message to bear if you have in you iniquity, deception, evil thoughts, even um, even evil plans. It is the perversion of the human being that prevents him for, from coming to the living God. God is always willing and always open and always there to receive us. But the more sin, the more perversion is in us, the more we will reject Jesus Christ and the more we will not want to come to God. Jesus Christ said that the pure in heart will be able to see God. So if you are pure in heart, you will be able to actually behold God in the spirit. I'm not saying you will be able to see him physically with your eyes. What I'm saying is there will be no barrier, no blockage between your heart and his heart, between your spirit and his spirit. But the moment there is corruption in you, the moment there is sin, the moment the goodness of God in you has been twisted into something evil, because all, all that is evil in us is nothing but the good of God that we have been twisting it and, and using it for our own selfish reasons. So if there is perversion, if there is sin, that will prevent you from coming into the presence of God. So I would like to encourage you, because as that sin, as that wickedness, it's in all of us, but some of us have actually come to Christ and have repented and have opened our hearts and our minds and poured out everything and he cleansed us. I encourage you today to do the same thing. I encourage you to bow down. I encourage you to open up your, your arms before the living God. And I encourage you, whatever the Spirit of God convicts you to repent of, to change of, do it. Truth when truth comes to your heart, when truth comes into your ears, it is not meant to be understood in the mind. When truth comes through the words people speak straight into your heart, it will cut like a sword through the heart and it will reveal everything that's being hidden or and it will expose the hidden reasons, the hidden motives of your heart. So if you feel that's you today, I encourage you, just bow on your knees, open up your arms, and whatever is on your heart, ask God to reveal it to you and repent. Do not run away. It will feel like a sword going in to your heart. Stay there, cry if you must to, because the tears of repentance bring you back into life. If there is sin, wickedness, deception into your heart, that deception will become your burden. Whatever you do not repent of, whatever you do not come into agreement with God of, this is what I've done, this is how I have sinned against you, whatever you do not repent of will become the very same thing that will bring turmoil upon your life. It will, it will bring torment in your mind, it will bring torment in your heart, in your soul, in your spirit. But the moment you bow down and you acknowledge before the living God, I have sinned, I have done this, I have done this, I have done this, even though you will feel like you are dying, even though you will cry, at the end of those tears, 
at the end of the tears of repentance, you will find freedom, you will find forgiveness, you will find love, you will find joy. But if you don't repent, you will just carry them and they will be your torment and your turmoil as long as you decide to keep that deception, that wickedness in you. In the Gospel of John, it says that people hated the light and they loved the darkness more than the light and this is the reason why they, they do not come to Jesus Christ because people in the heart of hearts they love the darkness they love the wickedness more than they love to come to the light more than they love to come to Jesus Christ because when they come to him everything is exposed there is nothing that you can keep hidden from Jesus Christ. So if there's perversion, if there's deception in you, I beg you, bow down, ask God for forgiveness, tell him, be truthful, open up, speak it out. And at the end of your tears, at the end of your repentance, you will find life and you will find freedom and you will find abundant, abundant love into the arms of the living God.